everybody, Keystone Girl here with Spicer Designs. Welcome back to the fucking channel. <laughs> wow, that was quite the intro you had there. Damn it. All right, today's video, we're gonna do something a little bit different. Normally, you're seeing me making all these signs and monograms on a CNC plasma table, so I thought maybe we'll do something a little bit different. We'll see if uh, the Keystone Girl could take a stab at it. <laughs> so I got a little project for a retired detective from the Chicago Police Department, and he sent me a monogram that someone else had made and they no longer do them anymore or the guy is gone now so um, he's looking for someone else to do it so this is what he gave me you're gonna have to duck down a little bit lower <laughs> so this is what he gave me to work off of now this wasn't the greatest image for me to do my drawing off of so I basically just had to take this image and kind of reworked the entire thing on Fusion 360. But overall, uh, this is what I turned out with, about as close as you're gonna get to what he originally gave me. And now I have a file that I can work with in the future if anyone else is interested in this monogram. Now I am gonna be guiding the Keystone Girl along through this process because face it, uh, she has no clue what she's doing. So I already have the file all set up, but I'm gonna have her running the CNC plasma table. I'm gonna have her doing the welding and doing all the assembly on this thing. So enough chit chat, let's get started. That's good. Oh, you're coaching me now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first thing we need to do is get the Slang Mirror Crossfire Pro loaded up with some steel. If you're interested in pulling the trigger on one of these, make sure you use promo code SPICER Designs. Hey, Ken, you're helping me. Let's go. It's a Mandian. You. you have to push that little teat in there first. Ooh. All right, I got the file up that Kyle already made. All that's left to do is zero in the machine and press that start button, which you know I'm good at. Hey, oh. just checking in on the progress. How, uh, how's it going? How's it coming along? Don't worry, I got everything under control here. It looks like you're doing a pretty good job. Thanks. Yeah? You still got all your fingers? All 10. Okay, that's good. So uh, are you gonna clean up all this dross or what? Yeah, I got my tool ready. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> well, once she gets done cleaning up all this dross, We'll uh, test her skills on the welder and see if she can get all this stuff fabricated and finished up. Right. I'll be making some business calls. Okay, I got it. Um, I'll be inside. See ya. <laughs> what am I doing? Now that we got the draw saw cleaned off, the next step is to install these three quarter inch standoffs. Kyle already added these reference points in the design so it makes it easy for both layers to line up. Oh hey, how'd all the business calls go? Uh. Uh, it, it 
it went okay. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I really don't want to talk about it. Well, it looks like you're making some progress here. Yeah. Everything's I think looking so. pretty good. Looks like you got all your standoffs in. This base plate is done. There's nothing else to do to this base plate. We got our reference holes in there for when we bolt this thing together. And we got our mounting holes. So this thing we could basically set aside. All the fabricating needs to be done right here on this main front piece. Now there is one more piece to this sign. And I actually had to send this piece out to get laser cut because it's too small of detail for my plasma machine. This piece I kind of worked on a little bit because it's a little bit more tedious. And I've already got it tacked together with a slight gap in between there just for a little bit of a layer effect. So once the Keystone Girl is done, getting this thing all welded up, I'll go ahead and put the finishing piece on it and we can bolt it together. All right, well, you ready to do some welding? Before we do any welding, it's time for a Keystone break. You need a Keystone? Yeah, me. I've been doing all the work here. Well, I'll tell you what, this time I'll get it for you. All right? Thanks. Wait a minute. I'm not giving you a Keystone. You're the Keystone girl. Oh, yeah. Damn, sure is nice being the Keystone girl. Hey, what about my Keystone? I'll give you a Keystone. Oh! <laughs> Thank you. Subscribe. Well, here goes nothing. I somehow got this thing welded together. I got the standoffs all on. I got the centerpiece welded on as well. All that's left to do is bolt this thing together. these clothes. Well, I gotta say, this thing turned out great. The Keystone Girl did an awesome job, and I really hope the customer is happy with it, and I hope that this thing doesn't fall apart on me. <laughs> now, the customer did not want me to paint this. He was going to paint it himself, and he was gonna add some LED lighting in between the two layers to give it an effect. Now, make sure you give the Keystone Girl some credit in the comments. This is the first thing she's ever done like this. I did give her some guidance, and it's probably gonna be the last thing that she ever does like this. <laughs> So if you like this video and you're impressed with the Keystone Girls handiwork, give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one. Damn, I did good. <laughs> did you really though? Yeah, you just said it. Or was it really good editing? <laughs> That's the problem, I never know what to do with my hands at first. I'm going to start it here, little hip. I don't care, do it, go ahead. All right, <laughs> you're right there. You f***ed up here, didn't you? <laughs> Let her loose. <laughs> My caged animal. <laughs> yeah. Is my hair okay? Like it's weighing my collar down. I should have hooked it right here then. <laughs> <laughs>